Hey guys, this is Western Shadow Defensive. I want to do a real quick video on a question that we get asked a lot, and that is, should I pick an IWB or an OWB holster? Now, real quick, from the beginning, uh, OWB stands for Outside the Waistband, and IWB stands for Inside the Waistband. This is an example of a OWB holster. This one happens to be one of our level two holsters for the Verna, but as you can tell, it is mounted on my belt outside of my belt line, hence the term Outside the Waistband, or OWB for short. The other option that we have is inside the waistband, which is typically mounted, or which is mounted inside your belt line between your body and your pants, as opposed to the outside of the waistband being outside of everything. So this is an example of a OWB holster. This is for the Berna LE with a laser. But as you can see, this mounts inside my belt and between my body and my belt, which is designed for concealment. So. That basically covers what's the difference between an OWB or an IWB. Now, for your personal use case, it really depends. If you're trying to conceal, then you're going to have to go with a uh, IWB or inside the waistband holster. We make one option for the Berna LE and then we have another option for the Berna HDSD. They're basically the same. There are some minor differences due to the size, but essentially they function the same way. And this is a OWB version. Now, an OWB is gonna work really great if you are working security or you want to have open carry, this is a level two one. So if you're law enforcement security, this is going to be the option you want. So someone can't just come and borrow your burner from you. But if you want to open carry, we make a Sentinel, which is our Sentinel OWB, which does not have a hood strap. It's a little bit thinner material and it's a little bit lighter duty. Whereas the, this is our Apex one. This is, this is pretty beefy and it's, it's overkill for, I would say most uses, unless you're working security or law enforcement. Now for IWB, this is our only option for concealed carry. So if you want to conceal this, you are going to have to get a IWB, IWB one. Uh, this is designed to be worn on the appendix. As you can see, it conceals pretty well, but it is not going to work well for a traditional, you know, three o'clock or six o'clock carry, depending on your hand orientation or small of the back carry. I do not recommend small of the back carry ever, but everybody has their own use cases and your situation is different than mine. Uh, there are some safety concerns with small of the back carry. We'll get into that with a different video, but our holsters are not designed for small of the back carry. People do use them for that, but they are not designed for that. So if someone asks me, oh, I want a small of the back carry, I'm like, well, ours are not small of the back carry holsters. So OWB versus IWB, which one do you want? It all depends on your use. If you want to open carry, then OWB. If you want to conceal carry, then IWB. So maybe I'll make this, uh, I'll see if I can get a shorter video because this is a little bit long. But if you guys have any questions, please feel free to shoot me an email or a message. I try to get back to people as quick as I can, uh, but I am human, so please be patient with me. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay strapped.